Hello and welcome to the second lesson of this Excel course. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video we will learn about data entry, editing and formatting in Excel. Let's get started with data entry. Excel can hold three kinds of data. First is numeric, the second is text and the third is a formula. So let me show you an example. Here for example I write the name of a salesperson. I would write my name. Then you can see that this is a name and this is a text that the cell is holding. If I here write my sales figures, so for example if I work in a sales company and I have to write my sales figure, let me say 100,000. Now this is a number that cell is holding and in the last case I may say that my target for next year, so I type target, oops I'm so bad at typing, target for next year and I would say my target for next year should be 10% higher than my current sales figures. Then I would use a formula. Whenever I start a formula, I start it with an equal to sign. So I would say equal to this value. So I would select this value. As soon as I select this value, it inserts the cell reference of this value, which is B2. And I would multiply this by using an asterisk sign by 1.1 because I want to increment this by 10% and now I hit enter and this gives me the new sales target which is 10% higher than my current sales figure. So this is how you can enter either a numeric value, a text value or a formula. There is another format of data that you can enter which is a date format. So for example if I type today's date here, so today is 7th September, the day when I'm recording this video, 2014 and as soon as I hit enter you can see that it has entered a date but this is also a number so all the dates and times in Excel are always a number in the back end so you may see it as a date you may see it as day month and year but it would be a number on which calculations can be performed so in essence Excel can only hold three kinds of data which is numeric text and a formula at this stage do not worry if you do not understand number formatting I would cover number formatting in detail in this video course and I would also introduce this later in this video so now let's see how we can delete data in Excel the easiest way to delete data from Excel is just to go select the cell and hit delete key you can also select a range of cells and then press delete key and it would delete the content in all those cells this is the easiest way you can also use a longer method which is to go to that cell select it right click and select delete from this menu but I think hitting the delete key is much efficient way to do this now let me show you something I would select these range of cells and I would give it some formatting so I would give borders to it and to these headers or maybe to these figures I would make it bold italics and I would also give a gray color to it so this is the formatting that I have given to it since the text in these is not visible I would change the row uh, the column width here so you can do that by by going to the end of this column and you would see this two arrow sign and you can just click and drag and using this you can change the width of the column similarly let me do this for column B as well now if I go and select this entire range and I hit delete key you can see that it has deleted the content but it has not deleted the formatting so deleting would only delete the content of a cell in case you need to clear everything if you need to delete formatting as well as everything you can use this option in home go to editing and here you have this option of clear select clear and you have these options which is clear all clear formats clear contents clear comments and clear hyperlinks we do not have comments and hyperlinks in this data but we do have formats and content so let me show you what happens when I hit clear content it clears everything which is equivalent to uh, hitting the delete key on your keyboard let me control Z and go back you can also clear formats only so if I hit this you can see that all the formatting has gone the borders the shading the bold and italics thing has gone now let me hit control Z again here you can also select clear all and this is the option that you should use if you want to clear this entire thing including formatting comments and hyperlinks and everything so this is a sure short way to make sure that everything has been deleted from this range of cells or from the cell that you want to delete it from 
Now if you want to change the content of any of these cells, so for example let me change the content of sales figures, for example instead of $100,000 I would want to say that uh, my sales figures were $150,000. So to modify the content of this cell there are two ways I can do it. The first way is I can just go and click on this cell and this value is available in the formula bar. So I can just go and change this value. Instead of $100,000 I would type $150,000 and I would hit enter and as soon as I do this the content of the cell changes. The other way to change this is to go on the cell and double click and as soon as you double click on this this gets into the edit mode. You can see here that the mode changes to edit. Now you can change this content. So for example I can make this to $180,000. A third way to do this would be go to this cell and hit F2 on your screen. So F2 gets you into the edit mode in a cell. So as soon as I hit F2 again it goes into the edit mode as you can see here at the bottom and you can change the content. So I can just go and change one of these characters which is I can change 8 to 5 and this would do what I want. And so this is done. Another way of doing or modifying the content is dragging and dropping another cell content over this. So for example here I have 180 thousand dollars and now if I need to change the content of the cell I can what I can do is I can go to this cell and at the border of this cell when I hover my mouse you see that I have this four arrow icon and I can click left click from my mouse and drag it and bring it to B2 and as soon as I leave the mouse you see that it would prompt me there is already data here do you want to replace it and I would say OK and as soon as I say OK this changes the content. Let me control Z and go back. One of the things that you need to take care of is that when you change this from when you drag and drop one of the cell over the other cell it would also carry forward its formatting. So for example in this case let me color this cell as uh, orange. Now when I drag and drop this over cell B2 and I hit OK you can see that it has also carried the formatting so it clears everything from that cell and it carries everything to this if you're wondering why we have a reference error we have a reference error because the now the reference has changed earlier it was B2 but since we dropped dragged and dropped it here the reference changed so I can again modify this by simply going back and selecting B2 so this is how you can edit the contents of a cell. You can also edit the content of a cell by selecting this entire range but as I mentioned you can only type into one cell at a time. So there would only be one active cell which is A1 as you can see in the name box and you can only edit the content of that. So in this case if I hit F2 this would take me to the active cell and I can modify the content of the active cell only. However, you can drag and drop more than one cell. So for example, here if I say sales value and here I say 100,000, I can drag and drop these two cells over these two. So as soon as I drag it here, you can see at the bottom it says A2 colon B2 which is the range. I leave the mouse and I hit OK and as soon as I do this you can see that the value changes. So while you can use double clicking on the cell and using F2 to get into the edit mode and change one cell you can drag and drop uh, multiple cells over your content. One very important thing that you should keep in mind is that when you go to a cell and you hit F2 to get into edit mode and you change these value so for example if I change the content and make it sales figure I have to either press enter or I have to use the arrow key to confirm this change if I do not do this so for example there are three ways I can do this I can either hit enter I can either hit any of the arrow key or I can use the mouse and go and click on any other cell if I do any of these three actions then the change is confirmed but if I press escape then this change does not take place for example if I press escape here you would see that the value does not change so it is imperative that you go you make the change and you either hit enter or you use the arrow key or you go and click on any other cell to confirm the change. Excel has many features that makes data entry easy so in this case let me show you an option of autofill so let's say I type months here and I have the sales fig or maybe sales target. Now I would type January here 
and in the next uh, row I would type February oops now if I select these two cells and I drag it down Excel is smart enough to identify that I am using months and there is a pattern so there I used the first month and month and in the second row I've used the second month so it would automatically fill it for me so now if I drag it down you can see that it is filling it this for me and I drag it this down till 12 months which is December and as soon as I leave this you can see that Excel has already filled all these months for me I also get this autofill option icon here and when I click on it this gives me additional control over this so for example in this case it has filled this series for me because it has identified that that January February March this is the series that I was using I can also use options to copy cells if I copy cells then this would not fill the series for me it would only copy these two cells over and over again so let me show you I check copy cells and you can see it has January February then it repeats again and again and again till the time I drag it let me control Z and again drag it I also have the option to fill formatting only so in had there been any formatting in this case it would have only filled the formatting and not filled the content I also have this option of fill without formatting so for example if I have the formatting here it by default fills that formatting so let me show this to you I would delete all this option and I would introduce a border to these two cells now when I select these two cells and I go at the bottom right of it I have this this square uh, green square I would bring my cursor over it and I would have this plus sign when I drag this down till December and I leave it you can see that it has already filled all these cells and there is the formatting all these cells have a border around it so Excel by default fills form, uh, formatting as well as the content but if I want it without formatting I can use this this option and you can see that all these other cells do not have a border around it Excel is also smart to identify the kind of data there is so for example in this case it has months and Excel has identified that there are months so it gives you an option to fill months only but I would show you that in case there would be some other kind of data this option may not be available some other option may be available and we also have this option of flash fill I would cover this in detail in uh, this video course later now let me show you what happens when I fill these sales target my say January sales targets are hundred thousand dollars and uh, February sales targets are two hundred thousand dollars now if I select these two cells Excel identifies that there is a pattern initially I had hundred and then in the second case I have incremented it by hundred so Excel would identify this pattern and now when I drag this down Excel would increment every other value by hundred now when I leave it you can see that it has 300 400 500 and so on for all these cells again I have this autofill option and if I click on it now you can see that I do not have anything called as fill months because Excel identifies that this is a numeric data and this is not a, a date kind of data so this is how autofill works I would cover autofill in detail later in this video course because there are a lot of other things that you can do using autofills you have identified that there are months that you can drag down there are numeric values but there are a lot more that can be done using autofill number formatting in Excel or data formatting in Excel determines how your data looks to you as a user it does not mean that the data changes but it is a clothing to the data where it would dress it up in different ways the way you want it so for example here I have these sales targets let me show you a very simple number formatting technique I select all these numbers and I go to home here I have number group and I select this drop down this drop down gives me a range of number formats that I can use so for example let me use the second one which is number as of now this is in general format which is specific which is no specific format but let me change this to a number format and as soon as I change this you can see that these numbers appear differently instead of hundred this is now hundred point zero zero so it has introduced two decimals to any of the number which is there similarly I can go and I can select currency formatting and as soon as I do this it introduce a pound sign along with two decimal places now as I mentioned this does not mean that your number has changed it remains the same and if you click on any of the number you can see that in the formula bar it still displays hundred 
but the way it is displayed in a cell is now different because you can maybe you're presenting your data to your manager or to your boss and you need to show them that these values are actually in pounds and maybe these values are in millions or in dollars then you can dress it up in a way which in which it would look that way does not mean that it changes so for example let me show you if I want to add one to it then I can do that does not mean that the backend value has changed the value remains the same it is only the way it is displayed that changes now let me show you various formats that are available so the easiest way to access a lot of uh, custom number formats is using this drop down so I have general I have number I have currency I have accounting these are three formats for date that I will show you very quick uh, in this video I also have the percentage format so as soon as I select this you can see that a number 100 uh, get changed in percentage format so now I have uh, 1 followed by 4 zeros decimal 00 percent for 100 I also have the fraction number format in this case I cannot apply it but let me show it to you in other cells so I have 0.25 the value that I have entered and now I go back to fraction and as soon as I select this it changes this to 1 by 4 which is a fraction for 0.25 I can change this and make this 0.33 and this would change this to 1 by 3 which is the fraction for 0.33 similarly I can change this to scientific notation if I select this you can see that the scientific notation comes up I'm not sure uh, when you would be using it but this is a good format to have and the last one in this list is text format now this is really important let me show you what happens I would go and I would change this format to general so I have all these numbers here now if I go and I select these three and I make this text format see what happens as soon as I select this all these numbers get aligned to the left because in Excel all the numbers get aligned to right and all the text get aligned to left as you can see if I type ABS here then it gets aligned to the left but if I type a number here say one two three then it gets aligned to the right so all the numbers would get aligned to the uh, to the right text would get aligned to the left and any error value would get aligned to uh, the middle so you can see that this has changed the format again the backend value has not changed but it is only how it is displayed that has changed you can get a lot more control over number formats by clicking on this command more number formats you can also so what it does is it would open the format cells dialog box you can also access this dialog box by using this dialog launcher if you click on it it opens the format cells dialog box and another keyboard shortcut for this is control one and as soon as you press this it again opens the same format cells dialog box here again you can see you have all these numbers uh, these formats as we talked about but it gives you a lot more flexibility so if I select number I would see that it asks me how many decimal places do you want do you want thousand separator or not so for example let me select 1200 here and press control 1 and now when I go to general uh, to number I can specify that I only want one decimal place and I want to use thousand separator and you can see how it would look and as soon as I hit OK the format changes so this dialog box gives you a lot more flexibility on how you want to display your numbers in what format you want to display it similarly you have all these currency accounting date and all these formats and or you also have special uh, you also have custom number format this is where you get most control in custom number formatting in Excel and you can specify a code and that code would change the way your value looks in Excel so I would talk about this later in this video course I would create a full video on custom number formatting because this is such an important topic in Excel but let me show you one last thing in formatting if I have today's date so for example if I have 0709 2014 which is 7th September 2014 uh, let me tell you that this date format is based on my computer's regional setting if you are in some other geography where the format is mm for example you are in a geography where the format is mm dd y y y y then you may consider this not as September but uh, July 9th 2014 so be cautious of where you are and use that format because the date gets changed because of it now I have this format and I want to change the date format in this case 
I can come here and I can identify uh, two format, three formats actually for date and time. First is shorthand format, which is already there. I can also use long date format. And as soon as I select this, it changes to 7 September 2014. So it has written everything here. As I mentioned, a date or a time is also stored as a number in Excel. So no matter if you see 0, uh, 07 September 2014, it is still a number. And since it is a number, you can perform operations on it. You can do calculations. So for example, let me show you something. I select this and I add 1 to it. This would mean that I'm adding 1 day to this number. And as soon as I hit enter, this gives me 8 September 2014. So you see the power it holds because of the fact that this is a number and it is only displayed as a date. You can also go back and select shorthand date here. So it comes back to the original uh, data entry that we made and you can also select the time. In this case, this is showing uh, 0000 because I have not entered any time here. But in case I do enter time, for, for example, I can enter that as of now it is 9.53 here uh, in India where I am recording this video. So I enter 9.53.00 and I would say AM. And as soon as I hit enter, you can see that now it is displaying the time you can go back and you can change this to long date format or you can come back and you can change this to time. So this is how date and time can be formatted in Excel. As I mentioned, you would get a lot more control when you use the custom number formatting dialog box, which I would cover later in this course. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.